I'm ready. We're live. Let me just double check. Hi guys. Going to the quick. Hello, you all. Oh, now my friend. excited. Oh. It's going to be a good, good, good session tonight. I'm so excited, and I just can't hide it, yeah, yeah. I know, I know, I know. We're going to achieve them, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we've got two people on. Good evening. Who have we got on? Say hello. Let me just check that we are live. Yes, we are. Okay, so who have we got on, guys? Let us know who's there. Say hi. Give us some love. Have you all printed your sheets out? I'm so excited to be goal setting with you guys this evening. Who likes goal I setting? Am a cat Who sets their goals every month? Who have we got on live? We can't see who we've got. Say hi so we know who's there. Who oh, Nicholas commented. Hi, Nicola. How are you? How has your day been? Hi, Nicola. This is slightly behind on here. Oh, yeah, they're coming through now. Hi, Emma. How are you? Hi, Sarah. Hi. Is Hi. Hi. Hi, Glynis. How is everybody? Did you just think <laughs> I was just singing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited and I just can't hide it. Yeah, yeah. We're about to set some goals. <laughs> We're gonna achieve them. Woo! -hoo! <laughs> Who's ready? We're not just gonna. We're not just gonna be setting goals, though. We're gonna be showing you how to achieve them. We're gonna break them down, so it's not just about setting that goal. We're gonna be taking you deep, 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 deep into how to get those goals I mean, i'm very interested to master this yeah emma said i've done it all up until the breakdown amazing emma's like whoa she's yeah. ready to go she's ready to rock she's ready to flow emma's on fire woo, woo. nicholas what i hope i get the best from this of course you are you're gonna absolutely you love this i'm set them to get them Yay! Love it, love it, love it! Woo, woo, woo! <laughs> I'm an <laughs> Can you tell? <laughs> you tell <me>. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> just, I'm really excited to do this, though. I'm so excited to do to the whole goal thing and show people how it's done. Like, showing them, obviously, because you know, Natasha, like, we've broken it down. We've got we've put other things in there, but... Usually we don't even think about when we're setting goals. That usually can distract us and things. So we're really going to be digging deep today, guys. It's going to be awesome. And we're um, going to do some woo as well. We all like woo. Who likes woo? I love woo. So we are going to bring some woo into it. We're going to be burning out our distractions into the universe because, you know, I love that. And I know you guys love that. Tiffany, you love that. Because I love do. So much. We love you too, Nicola. We no. have you here. Then this is what I've been keeping. We love you too. Timed reminder list slash notes on my phone. Ah, oh, thanks to the beautiful looking goal setter, by the way. Oh, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Well yeah, done. Amazing. Tiffany. <laughs> I can't take credit for that, guys. Tiffany is just fantastic. I'm a bit of a geek that way. I like making things look pretty. Yeah, they look so pretty. And they need, you need to have them to look, you know, it needs to be fun. We need to remember we're having fun here, guys. That's all the whole part of business. Absolutely. Um, guapas. Guapas. Guapa. How do you say that? Guapas? Guapas. guapas. means beautiful in Spanish. Hey, you learn something new every day, right? Denise has put the more woo, the better. Yes, we love woo. Who loves woo? Give us some hearts. Give us some hearts. Give we were us trying to do this earlier, weren't we, Natasha? Yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With one hand. Give us some hearts. We love woo. <laughs> Emma's put woo woo. Yay. <laughs> Nicholas put a hammer in the goal set sheets. Guys, you're going to need these. You're going to need them, Nicola. If you go to the files and if you quickly print it off, 
Tiffany has saved these in the files. You'll also find it in the news um, news feed as well. As you scroll through the group, you'll see this. So if you click on it and go and print it out, because this is what we're going to be working with you off tonight. Um, so we'll give you a few seconds to go and find that, Nicola. Tiffany, do you want to start talking about goals and introduce goals? And Yeah, so obviously I've... Nicola, what I'm going to say, though, is when, you, when you're downloading it, it's in a zip file, so make sure you extract them. It'll give you that option to print them off or download them. I've just run back from work. Well, not to worry, too. You'll, you'll, you'll know what we're talking about. You can write it down, yeah. And then you can go back to the sheets. So, guys, I'm just going to kind of explain to you what it is that we're going to be doing today and why it's different from other places you might have been to when setting goals or when you've just been doing it yourself because we all and I was speaking about this last week we all start off on this journey within business every month whatever it is and we kind of have that motivation and we're like right this month we're going to achieve this goal and we're going to we're going to do this and we're going to bring this money and we're going to touch these lives and then by week one, we remember we get distracted. So what we've done is we have made sure that obviously we've got a group of us together in order for us to have goal setting as a group, because that's powerful in itself, but then showing you how to break it down, how to make it achievable, and also how you can see it visually on a calendar. So you have it on each day, you know what it is that you're having to do. You're going to know what your distractions are, so you're going to be able to take control of those as well so it's really really important when setting goals that we make sure that we break them down it's okay having this this goal in in sight and that's amazing but what a lot of us forget to do is put doable structures down like step by step tasks that we need to do to get to that place so so many of us have a taste for that goal and we kind of forget about the, the behind the scenes work and the work that needs to be done in order to get there. So that's kind of what we're doing today. We're going to really be stripping back your business and going deep into how to set those goals and how you're going to be able to do that day by day to get to the end of May and go, I've done it! I've done it! So I'll just put, I'm so excited. Eek. I'm excited. I'm excited. Be amazing. So Natasha, are we gonna are we gonna crack on with this? Yes, definitely. Just put his like planning a wedding. <laughs> yes. I love it, Sarge. <laughs> and guys, I've put that poem down. Well, it's not a poem; it's a quote, and it's on your page two or three. It's got a little rainbow underneath, and it says, "Dear beautiful one, a dream written down with a date is a goal." A goal broken down into steps becomes a plan. A plan backed up by action makes your dreams come true. Oh, I so love put, I do. And I was like, I am so putting that in for my beautiful people. I'm putting that right in there. But what that does, it, it, it's, demonst it's demonstrating what it is that we're going to be doing tonight. So... Um, you can go back to that little quote. You can spin it up and remember why you're doing what you're doing. So, yeah. Go okay, ahead, Tasha. Okay. I'm my Let's get started. So, I'm going to start off by talking about distractions. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to get, what page is this? Page three where it says your distractions. So, I want you to get this page out, or if you haven't printed this off, then let's um, just write it down, okay? What I need you to do, guys, is write down your four main distractions here, but then write them separately on another piece of paper as well because we're going to do some woo and we're going to burn your distractions out into the universe and we're going to ask the universe to release them from you so as you don't feel like they're burdening you every single day. So I want you to really think about now, you must have achieved a goal, uh, set a goal in your past that you were so desperate to achieve. And something would have got in your way of you achieving that goal. Now, what were those distractions? What do you normally get distracted by? What easily distracts you every single day? I want you to write them down. 
Now, if you've got more than four, that's absolutely fine. But write down your main four distractions, what you think will get in your way of achieving your goal. I know one of mine is Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> I spend far too much time scrolling through Facebook and before I know it, two or three hours have gone and I think, Christ, and my to-do yeah. list is super long and I'm thinking, oh my God, right, I really need to turn my phone off and set set times to scroll through Facebook. What's one of your distractions, Tiff? Uh, Facebook, most definitely, but I've learned to kind of take control of that because I got to a point where I was spending all my time on social media. So I was setting out to obviously post things in there and get that content in there and bring my people in. But before I knew it, I was getting sidetracked with other people's posts, what other coaches were doing, what other, whatever. But it just, it, if we don't have, and because it's because I wasn't prepared for it. So when you prepare for it and you name those distractions, you're already like, you're aware. Probably, yes, exactly. Yeah. So as soon as that happens, you're like, I know that what this is. Stop yeah exactly yeah. this is why we want to bring your distractions to you so as you know exactly what they are so you can become aware when you're doing it it's exactly the same as your negative thoughts your negative thought process mm -hmm. when we help you to become aware of your negative thoughts that are entering your head you can stop them and you can turn them around and do something about it and it's exactly the same as when you go to work every single day to work on your goals, to work on your business, when you realize what distracts you from achieving your goals, you can become aware when you're doing it and you can stop yourself. So you can say to yourself, I'm distracting myself right now from achieving my goal because I'm sat scrolling through Facebook. You're probably going to see somebody else that's in your line of work or in your field or in the same expertise as you that is achieve their goals that has hit a 10 10k month that you're then going to probably start comparing yourself to this person will become a distraction because you're comparing yourself to them when really they've just probably started a little bit earlier than you or you know didn't get distracted from achieving their goal before so they are ahead of you so it doesn't mean that they're better than you but then what happens is we start comparing we then start procrastinating before we know we before we know it, we've missed a whole day, which yeah. then leads into a couple of days, and we just think, oh my god! Can you see why these distractions are so 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 important to hit on the head, um, and just spend whatever time that you need to. If it's checking emails, if it's on Facebook, allocate them. I'm going to talk you through this scheduler a little bit later on, and how this works, and how you can use that to schedule your days. But we need to become aware of our distractions. So have you all wrote your distractions down? Twice. Whilst they're writing those down, I'm going to put my phone on charge. for two seconds, guys. Okay, okay. Let me know, guys. Let me know that you're ready. Let me know that you've wrote your distractions down. Pop some comments. Let me know. Nicola's put her distractions down. Fantastic. Have you wrote them twice, Nicola, so we can burn one out into the universe now? Has everybody else wrote their this is, what a lot, this is what a lot of people don't do. They forget to do this bit, and this bit is crucial. It's just as important as setting your goal, this mm -hmm. bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Totally agree, because... This is helping you to become aware, like we just said, you have to become aware of what's distracting you. Glynis has wrote hers down, Denise has wrote hers down. Does anybody else in there, does anybody need any help with their distractions? Is anybody struggling? Because when we, when we become aware of our distractions, it helps us, well, it stops us from disconnecting from our goals as well. Because distractions make us disconnect from our goals. Like I just said about comparing yourself. Um, and things like that, that will just disconnect us. That will make us feel like we can't achieve our goal and we don't want to get to that point. So it's super important to get all of these out. Do not skip this bit. So, no, I don't. It's so, important. so I'll just put done. Emma's 
put, yep, just done them on another bit of paper too. Okay, fantastic. Right then, guys, what I want you to do is get the second piece of paper that you've wrote your distractions down on, and we're going to do a little bit of woo. Can you all kind of get some, can you all get a lighter or something to um, burn it out into the universe with? Can you all go to the back door or the front door or a window or wherever? And um, can you all get ready to burn your distractions out into the universe? I just want you to take a minute, as you're doing it, I want you to take a minute to visualize you working and visualize your distractions and visualize everything that you've wrote down and how it distracts you and how it makes you feel. And just take a few deep breaths in before you burn it out into the universe. I'll just give you a minute just to grab a lighter, just to go by the door and just to visualize that. And really visualize your, really notice your emotion, feel that emotion, how that distraction makes you feel. Because I get really pissed off with myself. I don't know about you, Tiffany, but <laughs> you know, so let's release that emotion and let's get rid of that let's ask the universe to remove that for us and let feel it being released away from you you I feel the emotion being released when I do this exercise I love releasing things into the universe because I can actually feel it being lifted can you Tiff yeah yeah but what is also a biggie for me when I start doing this is you are not aware of how many distractions you actually have in place until you start naming them. And you're like, oh my gosh, that's why I didn't hit that goal. That's why I didn't do this. Because I would, has anybody ever had that moment, that day, sorry, where they've kind of, they've gone on and a tangent and like, I'm going to, today's going to be the day I'm going to get so much done. And then three, four, five, six o'clock hits and you're like, I've done bugger all. <laughs> where's today gone? <laughs> What's happened? And then you beat yourself yeah. up. But yeah. what I've found myself doing so many times is going to do that thing that was distracting me. I get sidetracked and I can rein myself back in there. So I'm like, no, you promised yourself, Tiffany, we're not going down that road. I know what that is. So this is going to be so powerful. And when you're releasing it as well and you're visualizing that, it's going to be massive, massive, massive for your business. Big. Absolutely. Glennis has put often. Okay, guys, that should be enough time for you all to have grabbed a lighter or for you to have wrote it down again and for you to have been by a window now or a door or somewhere where you can release it. Now, I just want you to take a minute to visualize it. Just take a deep breath in. In through your nose and out through your mouth. And just visualize those distractions. Just visualize them. Just keep breathing in deeply. And just repeat this after me. I am prepared for these distractions and I will not allow these to steal me of the goals I set this month. Please let them be released from me. Thank you. I am prepared for these distractions and I will not allow these to steal me of the goals I set this month. Please let them be released from me. Thank you. Now start burning your distractions out into the universe. Keep visualizing them. Keep visualizing how they make you feel. And just keep repeating that over and over again. I am prepared for these distractions and I will not allow these to steal me of the goals I set this month. Please let them be released from me. Thank you. I am prepared for these distractions and I will not allow these to steal me of the goals I set this month. Please let them be released from me. And just take a minute to feel them being released. Feel that emotion being released. Feel those distractions being released from you and going into the universe. So they're not going to bother you again. They're not going to distract you again. When you next come to do your work tomorrow, you're going to be peaceful. You're going to be focused. You're going to be in control. And you're going to absolutely boss your day because all distractions would have been removed. So just yeah. take a minute to feel that and let them go into the universe. I love all this woo stuff. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Denise has put burnt. Yay! Woo, woo. Did you feel it? I think we're clicking tonight. I keep clicking. I don't know why. 
Denise, did you <laughs> did you feel it being released from you? I just love how light you feel after it and how it's much. Amazing. Yeah. And all of you as well, you will notice that I've put at the bottom under, I am prepared for these distractions and I will not allow these to steal me of the goals I set this month. And then you sign it. That's a promise to yourself. You've not only, you've released it, you've burnt it. That's great. Amazing. But if, and sometimes we cannot change the circumstances, circumstances around us, but you can control how you behave and how you react. So if you find yourself having a day or a morning where you're feeling like you're not getting much done, I want you to come back to your list. I want you to look at it. And I want to, you to go back to the moment you signed that piece of paper. You made that promise to yourself, to you and your business and your goal. So that's why we've got that there. So make sure you sign it and dot it, cross the T's. Definitely. Denise has put, like the... Like the tight board of frustration with myself has gone. Yes, I love it. It has, though. It does get released because you're asking your angels, you're asking the universe to release that from you. And that is what they're there for. They are there to take that away from you. So anything that you feel you have to release into the universe, you can do this at any time. You don't have to just wait for a new moon to release stuff. You can do it at any point. Your angels are there to guide you through every single day, every minute and every second of every day, your angels are there to guide you and back you up and release and help you. So guys, you can do this at any time. So have we all signed it? Have we all released it? Have we all signed it? We're now all aware of our distractions and we need to stick that on the fridge or somewhere that we can yeah. see every single day. So as we're aware, we know exactly what distracts us and we know exactly when we're doing it, we can become aware and to change it. Okay? Should we move on to the next part, Tiff? It's, um... Yeah, is everybody ready? So, like Natasha's just said, it's about becoming aware. Okay, so when we're setting these goals, a lot of us subconsciously, I've done it a thousand times over, I'm sure Natasha has, where you have this one goal that you want to achieve, but then you have a thousand other goals subconsciously, and you're like, I can't cook, I cook, I cook, I cook. So what I want all of you to do is I want you to pick one goal, okay? One goal that you want to have achieved, that you will achieve by the end of May. And I'm not saying to you that you can't concentrate on other things. Of course, it's part of business. You are going to be, if you have an email list, you are going to be sending out emails. If you have a Facebook page, of course, you're going to be doing these things in between. But I'm talking about that one goal that you want to have achieved by the end of May. Everything else I want out of your head is that one thing. And it can be anything within your business. Absolutely anything. But it is very, very important as entrepreneurs and as people within business to concentrate on one thing because we're going to overwhelm when we don't and it's about being conscious of that because it's subconscious a lot of the time and then we wonder why we're on meltdown and overwhelm or we're in burnout or our head's like and we can't come it's like I don't want to do this anymore I want a nine to five job why have I even picked doing this what have I done I've done it so many times. Oh, I've been there a million times. Who else has been there? You guys, you've got to have been there, right? It's, 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 it's oh true. Oh, my gosh. I think to, to be there. But that's because we are so driven. Entrepreneurs are so driven. They have yeah. so many ideas. We want it all today. We want it yeah. all now. Yeah. <laughs> and yes. we achieve everything all at once. But we can't. Yesterday. Yeah. exactly yeah we have to get realistic and we have to set smart goals and we have to do one at a time yeah. one at a time guys yeah one at a time but be conscious of this okay this is part of your distraction because sometimes when we set too many goals it becomes distracting it distracts you from your ultimate goal that you wanted to achieve in the first place okay but what i want you to do is i want you to make sure that when you are setting this goal Make sure that it is a goal that he's going to stretch you. Okay, it's going to be a goal. We, need, we have to be realistic, of course, but there's nothing wrong with aiming high. 
you know, if you want to have a 5K month, you can have a 5K month, but you need to make sure you have the, your eyes on the ball and you know exactly what you're doing each single day. So what I want you to do is stretch. Don't be afraid. I want you to look at that goal when you've written it down and you to feel just a little bit uncomfortable about it. Like, how exciting. When I hit that, I'll be on cloud nine. But it just makes you feel a little bit like, wow, I'm really going to have to step out of my comfort zone here. So make sure that it stretches you because that's what we want. Mm -hmm. Think big, dream big, you'll do big. So, yeah, make sure you do that with the, the, your goal. Yeah, it has to be something that is going to push you and stretch you and something that's going to make you step outside of your comfort zone. Because when we step outside of our comfort zone, first of all, that's where the magic happens. But secondly, that is that. So it's where the magic happens, but it's where you'll grow. It's where you'll evolve. It's where you'll learn. It's where you'll develop. It's where you'll learn new things. And, and everything just flows and you will become such a strong person when you take that leap of faith and you step outside of your comfort zone. I was saying on a live the other day, here's your comfort zone. Here's the kind of zone to step to step over it. And what we do is we just dip our toe in this zone and we just go back, we go back, we go back because we're comfortable here. This is the shit scary zone. And we're, most of the time we are shit scared to, to step into this zone. But that is where all of your goals are. That is where your dreams are. That is where you want to be. So we've got to step, not just dip our toe. We've got to push ourselves. Even if it's shit scary, we've got to push ourselves. We've got to step over that limit. We've just got to go for it. And that's where we come in as well, guys. We're here to help you, guide you, and hold your hand every step of the way. Nicholas, but I'm going to have to be elastic with this goal, but I can see it. That's cool. Elastic's good. That's cool. It's fine. Absolutely. So does anybody want to share their goal or you don't have to? I'd love that. I'd, I'd love to see people's goals. Yeah, absolutely. And I think I think declaring it on here would be amazing as well because you're putting it out there. You're taking ownership of that. So I would love to see some of your goals. Yeah, definitely. So have you all found your one goal? Are they writing down their goal as well? Why they want to achieve their goal, Tiffany? I'm going into that now. So all of you hopefully will have written that down. You've all stretched yourself. We've gone through that. So when we are speaking about distractions, okay, another one is we disconnect from our why, okay? And it happens without us. It's subconscious. We don't even know that we've disconnected from it. But when you find yourself being distracted by other things, you love your goal, you're worth your goal, but it's kind of taken a step back and you've kind of, you've gone this way and that way. So we have to connect and reconnect and remember why we are doing what we're doing. So what we need to do now is write down underneath your goal, the why, okay? And I want you to go into detail, okay? I want you to feel that, why you are doing it. Are you doing it to... Um, touch other people's lives and stop them from going through something you've been through are you selling amazing products that you have absolutely believe in and building relationships around your products are you building a customer base does that mean a lot to you are you doing it to feed your children to buy a bigger house to buy a new car really go into that so write down your why and the reason why we are doing this is because we can then connect and connect again and it's like I said to you last week these workbooks are for you to I encourage you all to have a folder and these are for you to look back at and connect and reconnect that signed piece of paper with your distractions go back to that so this is really powerful stuff guys when you start writing stuff out it becomes very real we writing things down is a very powerful tool my goal is to get my weekly schedule completed i'm working with it i've been trying to do it for months but it will be done this month yes it will emma yes it will. That as well in a minute that's what we're going to go into in a minute your weekly schedule and how to get organized yeah. nicola for my family oh bless yeah. you yeah definitely but nicola going to obviously don't share it on here it's fine but but go why, like, what is it you want to do for your family? What is it you wanting to achieve? Yes, I'll with 
Hilo by the end of May. Ten or more team members. Brilliant. Breakdowns actually on team members. So fantastic. You, you, this is meant for you, Nicola. <laughs> I want to do a breakdown in a minute of a goal. Um, so, yeah, definitely. Um, I was just going to say something. It's totally gone out of my head. What was I going to say then? But it's like I was saying before, do you know when we were just speaking about Natasha and we were saying, you know, when I went off to bed in a, in a paddy and I was like, I can't do this anymore. That's because I disconnected from my why. Okay, and it's things like that, that you, when you are distracted, you've disconnected from your why. Yeah. You know, you when you feel that. like, yeah. So to write that down, to write things down is very powerful anyway. I remembered. I remembered. Go I was going to say. Thanks. Go on. <laughs> A day in the life. Has anybody ever wrote a day in the life? Just out of curiosity. Anybody ever wrote a day in the life? Um, that was amazing for me. Do you know what? This was something that I heard years ago when I first started my previous business. Um, and I just thought, oh, day in the life. Because all this woo-woo stuff, I never used to really, goal setting and stuff like that. I just used to say, nah, I just got to work hard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When I first started, like three years ago, I just went for it. But I was a headless chicken. I was all over the place. Yeah. I didn't know what I was doing from one day to the next. I wasn't organised. I was so stressed out. Yeah, okay, I did well. But my God, <laughs> I was so unorganised. No, nothing was planned. It was just crazy, absolutely crazy. Um, so when I first heard about the day in the life, I thought, I don't need to write a bloody day in the life. But that happened to me. I got distracted and I started comparing myself and I forgot my reason why I was doing it in the first place because things then got really hard for me and I just said I can't do this anymore I was burnt out because I wasn't organized I wasn't planning anything everything was just going ah I was that like, overwhelmed frustrated confused in my head felt like I was being pushed from pillar to post and when I wrote my day in the life I actually took the time one day to sit and write my day in the life five years from now and I was crying I was crying my we eyes. Should do this. Yeah, definitely. Do a it session took, on it. Yeah, absolutely. It took me a couple of hours to write my day in the life, but I put everything in that day in the life. Literally everything. My house. Written. Sorry, go on. Go on, sorry. My house. I know the house that I'm going to be living in five years from now down to a T I know exactly what color my bed's going to be my walls I'm going to have a balcony next to my bed that's going to be overlooking the sea I'm going to have a big gated entrance I'm going to have a big walk-in wardrobe and the bathroom's going to be through there I know exactly what color everything's going to be I even know how my house is going to smell I know what my kitchen is going to look like my garden everything absolutely everything I know I'm going to be married I've described my perfect partner I've got an office there I know what, what businesses I'm going to have I know the turnover I know who I'm going to be working alongside everything yeah. I've done recently as well because you're connected to it you know on such a deep level and that's what it's asking you to do on this so it's like where are you how does it I know this sounds like a really odd but Natasha's just said it she even knows what a house is going to smell like absolutely so, how does it smell? Where are you? What does it feel like? What has it changed? You know, who has it impacted? I even so know what bed sheets I've got on my bed. Uh -huh. <laughs> that's how much detail I've gone into in my day in the life. Well, that's how much detail you need to go into as well. Yeah. I'm not saying to like right now because obviously we haven't got time, but just kind of note down what you why you're doing it right now and then. If you've got time once we get off this live, then go into more detail. Sit and write your story. Write your day in the life. How do you see your life five years from now? What have you got in your life? Who's with you? Are you married? Do you have a new partner? Do you have any more kids? What's your business look like? What do you want to do on a day-to-day -day basis? Describe your ideal day. So in my day in the life, I'm married um, to a rather hunky guy, may I add. <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> I I now have um, a little girl called Bella Boo. I've always wanted a little. Oh girl. wow! Um, and we are going out on a family day to the beach, and I even know what car I've got. It's crazy, and I'm so yeah. connected 
committed to that goal. Yeah. I actually sat and cried when I wrote that out. So guys, take the time to do it because it's massive. And I read it most mornings as well. Once I've done yeah. my routine and stuff, I will sit and read it. If I've got time, I'll try at some point of the day or before I go to bed. And it just reconnects you every single day. Absolutely. And when you're writing that, feel how excited you become. So it becomes so real. You've placed yourself there. Absolutely. Because I always, from, for my family's education, new car, extra money in the bank, and to get, get to the bank, okay, rally in September. Brilliant. <laughs> What you need to do, Nicola, is you need to write down, you need to get specific as well. So you need to say what car do you want, what colour, what colour yeah. suit. You have to get specific, you have to know. And then your family's education, what education do you want them to have? Do you want them to go to private school? If you want them to go to private school, how much is that going to cost you? You need to know how much you need to be earning every single month to live that lifestyle that you want to live. And that's how you manifest it. Because when you know exactly when you're clear on exactly what you want to achieve how much you need to achieve it you can put that intention out into the universe does that make sense so get even more specific lovely glennis has put wow that sounds amazing day in the life is amazing guys i highly recommend you write one you'll love it denise has put to set up my universal path guidance page and group i literally started a business and my work with people the day before i found you guys and it's going crazy already oh my god that's amazing that makes me so happy i love that yeah absolutely denise invite us to your group and your page it'd be lovely yes. to work and what you're doing definitely i didn't show that comment so are we ready to move on guys have you all done that just make a note to write your day in the life we should do that as an activity we should come on and do that together shouldn't we yeah we can do who'd like that who'd like to do that as an activity we could um we could share our day in the life i'd share mine yeah it'd be amazing who'd like that who'd like to do that as an activity Pop some comments. I promise not to blubber. <laughs> In five years time from now. <laughs> we're all emotional. <laughs> oh, I've even got like my wedding photo on the wall and I describe my wedding dress and oh my god, everything. Ooh, it's so exciting. I know. But when you get that specific, you become yeah. so excited by it because you can smell it, because you can feel it. Yeah. Do you know what I always visualise? And I've always tried to think about a way to describe it. But if I had it, I always think to myself, especially back at the beginning of my business, um, if someone had a bird's eye view over me <laughs> and they had a little track of what me and my business looked like, literally, there'd be lines here, there, there, there. Should, and I'd go round in a circle, <laughs> come back, go up here, down there, back there, <laughs> bed, back, 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 bed. <laughs> <laughs> so this is why... Your why is so important because, like Natasha said, even listening to Natasha then, I was so excited by that. It fuels you up. So there are no, there's no room for being distracted when you are so adamant and so specific about what it is you want. You can't. It's much harder to disconnect from that. Absolutely. They're all one in a day in the life activity. We'll get that arranged. For the next yeah. We'll we'll arrange that and we'll do that over the next week or so probably not this week because we we're, we're jam-packed this week we don't want to overload you we're very conscious that you've got stuff to do as well in, you, in your time and we don't want to give you well, far too much do you know what i mean so we will get yeah. that arranged for you definitely nicholas put if i've suddenly got overwhelmed what should i do what are you overwhelmed with honey elaborate a little in bit what way? if it's because of nicola i don't know if it's because of when we were just speaking about your why, what I would do is, if you don't, sometimes if we get too specific, like we start thinking about, well, how many numbers do I need to get to this place? And da -da -da, we can go into overwhelm. So we have to be very, very careful. So if connecting to your why is just that, I need help with this. So Nicola, if, you, if connecting to your why is just that, I want an, an amazing life for my children and for me, if you've got children for me I want this then just write about that put yourself in that position how do you feel when you've gone to that rally and you stood there and you're like I've paid for this through my business like I'm here 
because I've worked my bum off for this. I'm here because I didn't get distracted. So put yourself there. Don't let overwhelm come in. I've never been successful in business. Well, that's going to change, Nicola. That's a limiting belief. You're, you're, you're getting your own way and holding yourself back, honey. Thursday, I've got an amazing exercise to do with you all that is going to squash your limiting beliefs and switch your mindset. I can't wait. I can't wait to bring it. That's tomorrow. No, it's not. What day are we on? What day is it today? <laughs> Tuesday. Tuesday. It's Tuesday. You made me think that. I was like, Tuesday. Thursday. We, I've got an amazing exercise that I'm going to do with you all. It's going to be powerful. So um, stay tuned for that, honey, because it sounds like you've got some limiting beliefs there that you need to squash. And sometimes we also have a fear of being yeah. successful. And it all stems... Sorry, Tiff. Sorry, go on. What you going no, it all stems from your childhood. Everything, all of our limiting beliefs, nine times out of ten, stem from our childhood. They've been instilled yeah. into us from when we were younger and we didn't we didn't even realise and don't even know why we're carrying these limiting beliefs around with us. But I'm gonna help you guys to realise on Thursday and I'm gonna help you to, to switch them and, and, and move get get rid of them. Just get the hell out of them and get rid of them. Just remember, Nicola, that that belief isn't yours. It doesn't belong to you. Okay, that's something that you've been told, something that you've been conditioned to believe. That isn't your belief, Nicola. These people in business that are successful don't have a secret recipe other than they are clear, which is what we're helping you with to get to that place. There's no, there's nothing special. We're all special, so I'm not downplaying anybody, but what I'm saying is, is that you are just as capable of achieving a successful business as the person up the street, down the street, on the internet, whatever it is they're doing. But you need to release these limited beliefs. So to really, and I will be doing this as well, and Natasha's going to be doing it, it's going back to that place. And where does that stem from? Because it's not yours. It doesn't belong to you. Absolutely, yeah. So we've got lots of limiting beliefs coming in now. People are saying that they need... Uh, I'm serious need of squashing my self-limiting beliefs. Emma's put me too. Yeah. Oh. yeah. We're, we're going to help you. We're going to help yeah. you with those limiting beliefs. It's, to get rid of limiting beliefs, it takes time. Um, but what helps to get rid of them is when we're aware of them. Yeah. Yeah? So that's 100%. what I'm going to help you to do on Thursday. I'm going to help you to become aware of them. Yeah. And it'll be a light bulb moment, okay? It'll be this thing that you will go back to, this memory, where whatever it is, and you'll be like, oh, my gosh, okay. And then when you are aware, that's when you can squash them. Yes. So just know that everybody has them. Everybody's had limited beliefs. Every, every day something will creep in because that's just life. But it's about being aware of that and saying, no, that's not mine. That doesn't belong to me. And you are in, a, don't forget you're in a network of people now. We've all got each other's backs. You guys yeah. will get to know each other. So you can network, you can support each other. Yeah. And we're listening, aren't we, Natasha, to what you're saying. So if we know that you're really struggling within an area, we will completely delve into that. We'll go so deep until we know that you guys are able to go out there and completely smash your dreams and your goals. So yeah. please know that you've got obviously support here. And that it's not yours, these beliefs. <laughs> I love it, Denise. When I get any self-doubts now, I just think of you two woo-wooing, and I'm like, hell yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited. Woo! <laughs> this is bringing tears to my eyes already in a good way. That's so good to hear, Glynis. Oh. You know what I do? I just get up. I, what I'm going to teach you on Thursday as well, guys, is I'm going to teach you the I am affirmations that are suitable for you. So not every I am affirmation will resonate with you. What we need to first do is we need to first find our limiting beliefs and we need to get those limiting beliefs, write them down and we need to change them to something um, positive. So we need to change a negative to a positive to retrain our brain, to reprogram our mind. And then it's a consistent daily effort of repeating that over and over and over and over again to yourself but i'm not going to go too far into that we're going into limiting beliefs no. now goal setting no, we are, we've got it covered guys completely and utterly got your back. please don't feel alone 
I'm releasing four generation women being controlled financially, no more, and breaking through once and for all. Absolutely, Nicola. You go, girl. And we've got your back all the way, every day. Right, then let's break those goals down. Who's ready to break those goals down? So, well, that goal down. So, whatever your goal is, we need to break it down into daily a action steps. So, as you are clear on what you need to do every single day, the action you need to take every single day to achieve your goal. Because it's no good just having that goal there, but then not knowing how to achieve it. We have to have the action steps. Nicholas put, girls, we can and we will. Absolutely. Yeah. So I'm going to give you an example here. Now, if you're struggling to do this, please pop your goal and I will try my best to help you to break your goal down. So here's my example. For example, say you wanted 12 new team members. Say you're in network marketing, you wanted 12 new team members this month. That's three team members per week. Now, if you've done your stats on previous recruits, and for example, say you have to speak to 20 people to get one person to join your team, so one in 20 people join, then that, that means that you're going to need to speak to about 60 people per week um, for you to get those three recruits. You with me, guys? You with me, Tiff? Does that make sense so far? I do. I'd be interested to know whether people um, would like um, ideas on how to do that, like where to find those people, how to bring that audience in. If so, then it's something that I can cover in a few weeks yeah, as well. Absolutely. absolutely. Because yeah. 60 can sometimes sound like a big number. It's like, <gasps> but actually, guys, it's very easy to do. Um, yeah. So I will cover that if you lot would like oh, to okay. Who's, is it Brittany? Oh. Yeah. Hey, lovely. How are you? Um, so that's 60 per week. That's about eight to nine people a day that you need to speak to. So in your activity, you need to figure out what you need to do to speak to those eight to nine people a day, which means about 60 people per week. So as you can get through the numbers and get those three recruits every week, which equals 12 recruits over the month. Does that make sense, guys? Nicholas put, please, she'd like that training from you, Tiff. We'll get that arranged. Um, and Emma's put, yes, definitely, Tiffany. So does that breakdown make sense? So I want you now to break down your goal. I want you to look at your goal and put the steps, the action steps that you need to take. You can break it down like that. If it's a number, th if a number, uh, blah, blah, blah. if it's a numbers thing that you need to do or you need to figure out, you can break it down that way, or you can put steps, action steps that you need to take yeah. in order to get to your goal, yeah. and then action steps that you're going to complete it by. Yeah, Does that makes so sense. Really breaking it down. Yeah, really. Adam, so for uh, for a coach, for instance, if say you wanted. I don't know, two clients a month. So you know that that's your goal. So then it's breaking down like, okay, I need to be sending one email a day out. I need to be doing this once a week. What is it that you need to do to make that happen? What are those steps? What kind of marketing strategies do you need to have in place? So it's breaking down. So then Nicola, uh, Nicola Natasha's going to go into this, like putting it on a schedule for you. But the more specific you can get about how you're going to achieve this this end goal mm -hmm. will help massively in regards to when you can see it visually on a schedule. That's so, it. yeah, so make sure that you really take the time to do this one quite, you know, in as much detail as possible, guys, because this bit's important. Yeah. And it absolutely. keeps from being strayed or distracted. Yeah. It gives you the action steps that you need to take. So yeah. Instead of, of, of getting up every day and thinking, hmm, what am I doing today? Oh, I don't know. I might just go and make myself another coffee and yeah, I might just call my friend and have a quick chat with her, which then turns into an hour chat. Oh, do you know what? I seen quite a nice top the other day when I popped into Topshop. I might just go and get that top. Oh, I'll just, that like <laughs> I'll just go for a coffee while I'm here in Costa and I'll just check yeah. Facebook. Yeah, or it can be yeah. you get up and it's like, because you don't have action steps, you know what your goal is. So you get up and you're like, oh my gosh, I need to hit that goal. 
you run it around everywhere and you're like up, down, da, 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 because you haven't broken it down. Okay. So this is why this bit's very, very important, guys. So get it, get really clear on this. So really clear on your action steps because yeah. then what I'm going to show you is this. Now this is available in the files. Can you see that? Yeah. yeah. Ah! <laughs> oh my God, this camera is so like. Um, so it's got the time um, of the day down the side. It's got the days of the week across the top. And then I'm going to talk you through it in a minute what I've done to it. But this is in, I think I've called it Freedom Scheduler. It's in the files. You can download it. Um, I highly recommend everybody takes the time on a Sunday to fill one of these out. Well, you can do it today if you haven't done one. You can go and download it and do it today absolutely for the rest of the week. But I highly recommend, this is like your diary. This is your Bible. This is just going to get you looking at it and going, right, okay, yeah, I know exactly. This is your map, your map for the week. And when I started doing this, this is when I started to get super organized and my business just boomed because I knew exactly what I was doing at what time and I stuck to it. So what you need to do on, on this scheduler is you need four different colored highlighters. You can see down the side there. And see, I quite like to use like um, motivating phrases. I have wrote a few in the scheduler. So you'll see my examples when you download it. But you can see there that I put bonding with my family. Um, and then f instead of putting work, we all hate that job. But you know, some entrepreneurs still have a day job. Instead of putting work, put paying my bills or you know providing for my family something that's going to motivate you to go and get that job done in a good mindset does that make sense yeah um and then i've got a different color for um working on your business and i've put building my empire you can put whatever you want and then if you're going to the gym or you've got you time or whatever i put snatching my sexy back so <laughs> not too much sexy back your friend <laughs> I love yeah. that you put that one down you're motivated to even more to go to the gym and work out because you're getting sexy and bringing sexy back yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I created an excel sheet of things I should be doing but there are no steps could I just add to that I'm confused yeah. Yeah, how do you mean? I created an Excel sheet. What do you mean? Yeah. Let's a little bit further. So once you've got your colours and you've wrote down the side, okay, so you want to have your day job if you've got one, your business, your family time, and you time, okay? They are your four things that you want to do, want to have down there. Now, then what you need to do, first of all, is you, the hours you're working in your day job, you first of all put them on here. So you can see that I've put it in green. That's my day job. Okay? Day job. Day job. <laughs> I can't get my fingers in the screen then. Um, and then from there, you then put any family time, any kids clubs, any activities, anything that you've got to go to, you'll put it in there in whatever colour you chose. So I put um, pink for my family time. So I then add it in any kids clubs, any tea time, anything, I add that in pink. Can you guys see that? Can you see that? Ish. I can just see bills. <laughs> my bills. <laughs> Paying my bills. Paying my <laughs> bills. You can see that's my yeah, day job. see it now. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I add my day job in first if you've got one. I then add my family time in. I then add my sexy time in with myself, snatching my sexy back. Um, and then from there, you will start to see gaps, okay? So everything important is in. You'll then see gaps, what you've got left free. So you then block as much time as you want out to spend on your business, building your empire. And you get that blocked out. And what you do is you write in that section exactly what you're going to do at that time. So you might have an hour a day to specifically check your emails. When you know, when you get to, I don't know, it could be 8.30 at night, for an hour, 8.30 to 9.30, that is when you sit down and you check your emails and you do nothing else apart from that task 
that you wrote down on your schedule sheet and you dedicate that hour to that and you don't get distracted. Yeah. Um, go on. Um, I was just going to say, on the steps to your goal and it says complete by when you know when it needs to be completed by it'll become easier then to prioritize what needs to go in where onto your schedule as well Absolutely. so yeah yeah so when you've wrote down your steps and the date you want to complete them by um so you might I don't know for example let's take that example that I did of needing to speak to 60 people in a week you might want to do that over four days for example so you might want to do that next week you might want to start that and you might want to have done that by Thursday so that's your deadline for doing that so you know in your activity Monday to Thursday you need to cram speaking those people in so that becomes your activity over those four days does that make sense yeah yeah and you put in the box here you put exactly what you're doing at that moment in time, exactly. And you do nothing else. And that is how you become super organized, super on the ball, super productive. And that is how you boss your day, you boss your week, you boss your month and how you tick every single goal off and especially that one important goal that you set. That is how you will move forward and how your business will grow. Who's excited? sense guys are we making sense is there any questions any questions yeah, any questions get yeah get them posted and we'll answer them and let us know when you've done that as well because i think that bit will allow time for that because you need to be specific with that so just take your time guys i wouldn't do let us know when you finish i wouldn't do that right now no that's fine okay i would do that after so they can really think yeah. And they can get their schedule in and what they need to do. They can look at their goals. They can then get their schedule. So I would just print it off and do that after, guys, your schedule sheet. Um, but I just wanted to explain it so you understand it. Do you all understand yeah. it, Nicholas? But love it. Glynis, do you want to um, elaborate a little bit further on your comment? Do we have any questions? Is everybody keeping up with us here? They're all quiet, so I think they're all they're all concentrating, aren't they? Yeah. Just let us know that you're keeping up and you're understanding it. Let us know when you've done, so then we we know to move on. Nicholas, but I found bloody tastic. Exciting. <laughs> Woo! Bloody tastic. How can we expect same exact things to be done? What? How do you mean? Um. What does that mean? Do you mean at, at that time? How can you expect those exact things to be done? Because you've allocated, if that's what you mean, lovely, because you've allocated that time to do that task. And that's the whole point of having a schedule sheet and being organized. You know, instead of just instead of just guessing your day and instead of just having a to-do list and thinking, I'll do that at some point today. I'll get that done at some point today. And then before you know, you've got distracted and the days ran ahead with you, and you got to the end of your day and you've done bugger all, you've got nothing done. And you think, oh, damn it. When you come, when you get organized and you put it in at that time, that specific time, and you're doing that exact thing, then you allocate that time to that. I know that your day sometimes might get a little bit out of control and you might not be able to do it at that exact time. That's absolutely fine. You can always readjust it. But as long as you know you've got the basis of what you need to do at what time. Yeah. Does that make sense? Is that what you meant? How can we how can we expect the same exact thing to be done? I'm not quite sure on that, are you, Tiff? I think that's what no. you Let us know what you mean by that, or if Natasha's answered your question there. We're okay. answering the question there. If not, then just elaborate a little bit further. Should we move on? Should we move yeah. on to are we... we are ready? Okay, we so have... I am yeah, reach out. So we're on the reach out part now, oh, okay? Hold on a minute. Hold on, sorry, we've got some. Glynis has put, what I meant earlier was that I created an Excel sheet with the 24 hours of the day. And as you said, put down what I should be doing in each hour of the day. I hadn't put an end time to each task. They were not broken down into bite-sized bite pieces that will add up to my goal. 
Okay, so you're more clear on how to do it now, Glynis. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. I would, if you can, Glynis, get it broken down as much as possible. Christina's put, just wanted to thank you both. Really good. Will this be recorded? I have to go on a different call. Yeah, sure. Yeah, it'll all be recorded for you, Christina. You can catch up after lovely. How are you anyway, honey? I hope that you're well. And um, yes, that's it. Okay, fantastic. So I've answered your question. Emma's put, do you have a diary as well as the schedule so you know what you're doing going forward? Do you yes, I do. So I have a diary. I keep my diary in my phone, actually. Um, my calendar in my phone, that's my diary. And then mm. every Sunday I look at my diary, what I've got in, and I'll do my schedule sheet. Um, do you know what it really helps? Jaden as well. That's the, one of the reasons why I do it because Jaden's autistic. So it really helps him to come downstairs and look at the fridge and go, that's what we're doing today, mummy. It, he loves it. Yeah. Really yeah. Loves it. So it keeps him organised in his head. Weird and wonderful head, bless him. <laughs> and it keeps be organized in my business and my life and what I'm doing yeah uh, it's, a, it's a habit Emma so we need to, it's a good habit to have so yeah. if you can have a diary to carry around with you as well as have that schedule at home then that keeps you connected to your goal and what it is that you need to be doing you're not going to go into distraction mode so I, I have a diary and I have the schedule as well like Natasha said it's key to business is your diary and your schedule so if you don't have one get one absolutely the key to being successful is to be super organized yeah absolutely and take massive massive action yes thank you so much that's brilliant advice you're welcome honey you are very welcome lots of hearts oh, yeah, i'm so glad that you're loving it woo, woo. okay next bit reaching out reaching out guys so this is another limited belief actually isn't it Feeling like you've got to do it on your own. Feeling like you you can't reach out. Feeling like you it's your business, so you need to be achieving this. But DIY within business, nine times out of ten, doesn't work, okay? So we need to be reaching out to those people that could help us. So, for instance, if you are, like Natasha did the example, you need to connect with however many she said a week, Okay, who can help you with that? Could you go into um, a Facebook group where you know potential clients are and could you reach out to them and ask them whether maybe you could, um, I don't know, feature on their page or could you do something together? Could you collaborate in some way? So knowing who can help you, you know, are you not very techie minded? And it's like, oh, I can't get my head around that. Who do I need to reach out to to help me with that? Get super organized. And what then happens is we take that weight off our shoulders because I don't know about you guys, but I'm just going to talk about MailChimp for a second. Now, I literally cried over that thing once upon a time. I was like, I am hard. <laughs> I am so not techie. And this is right at the beginning of my business. So obviously I needed to master all this in order to coach business. And I was like, I can't do it. I cannot do it. But what I'd forgotten. There's no such that, word as can't, Tiffany. You are sorry. There's no such word as can't. Yeah, exactly. What I'd forgotten is there's no such word as can't. But secondly, that there are millions of people out there that could answer the questions like that. And when I started reaching out, Things just sunk in. I was like, oh my gosh, really? Is that all it is? So take that weight off your shoulders. If you need to reach more people, then get really, really clever about how you're going to do it. Collaborate. You know, if you're selling products, you can still collaborate. You don't need to just be a coach to collaborate. Get on each other's pages. Start getting really clever about who you reach out to in order to get this goal going. Okay. And it's less pressure anyway, isn't it? You reach that goal quicker as well. Well, I did anyway. <laughs> I do not, I did not like MailChimp because it was awful. Like, oh. <laughs> we were talking about that the other day, weren't we, Natasha? Yeah, it is a bit of a nightmare. So it's bad, but, you know, hey, we have to, we, we have to go for these things, don't we? But if you can reach out to someone to make it easier, make your life easier, then absolutely go for it and do it. Because we can't master everything. We can't everything. be a master. Yeah. DIY within business does not help. 
it doesn't it, it, it you won't succeed doing diy you will burn out as human beings we were not put on this planet to master everything and facebook i mean is your oyster there are so many experts on there in so many areas all it needs is you to take half an hour out and have a little look you know reach out but Network. If you start saying the person that it is that you can help, so you don't have to do this right now because it can take a little bit t- a bit of time, but if one person comes to, to your mind now, like, yeah, actually, I do need help with this, then write this down just as a practice. Get that person's name down. Then write down the area they're going to help you in. Okay, so that takes a strain off you already. Uh-huh. And then the contact details. And then what I want you to do is I want you to tick that off, and that will go on your schedule as well, Okay. So being really specific about who you're going to be asking, because you will be, you will not be able to believe the relief that comes off your shoulders Massive. when you realise that Massive. it's okay to reach out. People, you will find that if you connect with these people and are, are introducing yourself and saying how much you love what they do, they will be happy to help. They'll be happy to connect with you. So it's about building that relationship and that credibility. They may need you for something. So start reaching out and don't do the whole DIY thing because it just does not work at all within business. Absolutely, yeah. Don't burn yourself out just in any way that you can. If you don't know anybody that does that, then write down the service that you need and get to work or find that person. Again, man. Yeah, or go into Facebook groups. You know, there's Facebook groups that you can join where they will master something you'll be able to tell by the name, they'll master something that you're struggling with. So just set a little bit of time aside that can go on your schedule and yeah. reach out that way. Definitely. So, yeah, just, just set a bit of time aside after and just write down, think what is burdening you right now, what you can't quite figure out that you could outsource to somebody else or how you could, what you could do, who you could team up with to move your business forward, yeah. collaborate with people. That. That's how the magic happens. So you're clear on that. Should we move on to visualization? Yeah. Yeah. I love this. my favorite part. I love this bit. This is my favorite part. I love this part. Okay. I have wrote my very own visualization for everybody. I think I've seen that camera. I've I sat with you today and I love it. So are you all ready? Are you all ready to get relaxed, to get visualizing, to get connected, to put yourself in that goal, how it feels, to feel the emotions? Who's ready? Who's Nicola ready? says yes. Yay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Amazing. Okay. So guys, get yourself comfortable. Get yourselves relaxed, completely relaxed. Get yourselves comfortable. And take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. And again, and relax when you're doing it. And just let everything go, all those emotions, all that fear, all that anxiety, all that built up tension in your body, just blow it out with your breath. Keep taking a deep breath in and out. And on your next breath in, say, I am, I am. And as you breathe out, say, peace, peace. Now I want you to gently lift the eyebrows and relax them, releasing any tension in the forehead. Loosen the jaw and allow it to relax. Bring that feeling of complete relaxation down to the neck and the shoulders. Notice any tension and breathe peace into those areas. Inhaling again. I am. And exhaling peace. Moving down the back and the hips, let gravity take over. Just melt into the ground and feel completely supported. Continue to let relaxation flow down your arms 
and your fingers. Then allow it to flow through your legs, through your toes. Breathe in and out. Really focus on your breathing, focus on your breath. Now let's go on a journey. I want you to put yourself in the now. Imagine you and your life as it is right now and the situation that is your life right now. I want you to hold that image in your mind. Notice your emotions. How do you feel about your present situation? Now I want you to feel yourself floating up towards the sky. You are floating away from your present situation. You're floating high, high into the sky, releasing all of your thoughts and emotions as you go. You hover for a moment, looking down at where your life is right now and everyone in it. You then look up and ahead and you can see a bright light ahead of you. It's not too far away. You can make it to that light. You have to make it there. Something is drawing you to it. You start moving forward slowly. It's such a peaceful feeling up here. You are as light as a feather. You are at peace. You're like an angel. You're like an angel flying high. You don't have a care in the world. You are free. You are peace. You are abundance. You can see the bright light getting closer and closer to you. Keep floating. Keep flying. Keep moving forward. You can almost touch it. Now say this affirmation to yourself softly. New beginnings are calling me. I am ready and willing to answer the call. Now please let them be. New beginnings are calling me. I am ready and willing to answer the call. Now please let them be. New beginnings are calling me. I am ready and willing to answer the call. Now please let them be. Now let yourself feel the emotions that come when you get there. Really feel the emotion. Notice how you feel knowing that you are on your way to achieving your goal. That goal that is so, so important to you. You finally arrive. The light is blinding. You hear a voice whisper. Congratulations, it's all yours. And suddenly you are inside of the bright light. You're going through a tunnel, you're floating through the tunnel of light. And when you land, you look around. Everything is so bright and so joyful. You take a minute to take everything in. You are living your dream. Your goal you set is now your reality. How do you feel knowing that you achieved it? Your hard work paid off, it's all yours. Really notice that emotion, feel that emotion. Now look around you, what do you see? Where are you? What can you smell? What things can you touch? What can you taste? Who is with you? Really look around, take every little detail in, everything. This is yours. You achieve this, you deserve this, now go own it. Now let yourself feel the emotions, feel the satisfaction, feel the deep joy of accomplishment, feel the joy deep inside your gut, knowing that this is what has led you to where you are right now. You trusted, you had faith, you connected, you believed, and now, now you've achieved. 
let the joy radiate, radiate out, encompassing your whole body. Let every cell feel the vibration of joy and satisfaction. Feel the tingle going through your body, the goosebumps all over your skin, the gratitude pulsating through you and the pure joy and abundance deep within. Say this affirmation to yourself. When I change, the whole world changes. When I change, the whole world changes. When I change, the whole world changes. Let love, gratitude and joy encompass your whole being. Really, really feel that gratitude. Focus on your emotions. Really feel that gratitude and zone in. Focus on your emotions. You did it. You did it. It's all yours. This is now your reality. You notice a mirror in front of you. You slowly walk towards it. You start to see your reflection looking back at you. Notice how fresh fresh faced you look. Notice how happy you are. Notice how much sparkle is in your eyes. They're twinkling. You're so happy. You're full of abundance. You're full of joy. Now look deep into those beautiful eyes of yours and tell yourself, well done. Well done. You did it. I am so proud of you. I love you and I am so proud of you. You've been through so much. You have pushed yourself to your limits. You carried on through the tough times and you made it. You made it out the other side. I love you and I am so proud of you. You are so strong. I love you and I'm so proud. Really notice your emotions. Really focus on the good, on the joy, on how good you feel now that that goal is yours. How grateful do you feel? Feel that attitude of gratitude. Feel that proudness. How proud do you feel knowing that you never gave up? You never gave in. This is all yours now. This is your reality. It's yours. This is your life. Take a moment to really feel those emotions, really connect, really connect deep within. Connect to how you feel knowing that your goal has been achieved, it's yours, it's your reality, you're there, you're in the moment, you're in the present moment. Now imagine yourself floating back up, float back up high into the sky. Go back through that white tunnel and now you're hovering above your goal. You're looking down on your goal. And I want you to start floating backwards, backwards towards your reality. Along the way, notice all of the action steps that you took to get to your goal. Take them in, really notice them. What did you do along your path to get there? Let them enter your mind and take a mental note of what action steps do you need to take. Take a minute to visualize them. Take a minute to note them down. Note down what you need to do to get that reality. Now you're back in the here and now, your current situation. Let your senses come back into the room, becoming aware of your surroundings. Know that your goals are there for the taking. You can absolutely achieve whatever you set out to achieve. They are all yours. All you need to do is believe and take massive action. Now take a deep breath in. Slowly come back into the room. Begin to feel the body, moving your fingers and toes and awaken to the inner knowing that you have the tools you need to make things happen. Knowing that you can do some action this very day to bring you closer to your goal. Wow. 
That was amazing. Thank you, God. Oh. Did you do that, Tiffany? No, that was you, chicken. <laughs> you froze. Oh, did I freeze? Yeah. Did you do that visualization? Did you join? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. I thought you were asking me if I'd done that. <laughs> Natasha, yeah, I did. Um, How did you feel? I got a little bit upset. I got really overwhelmed. It was amazing because I was so connected to it. And obviously, you know, we're all human beings. We all have our goals. And, you know, mine are personal to me. And so, obviously, I envision things with my little boy and stuff. So, I just got really emotional. But it was it was a really, really good emotion. powerful. Yeah, very much so. Yeah, yeah. No, that's good. It's good. You know... Yeah. You, your why should make you cry absolutely yeah, of course, your goals should make you cry. the thought of achieving your goals connecting with your goals should make you cry you know when I think of it I cry when I read my day in the life I cry when I think of achieving my vision and impacting the lives of thousands of people all around the world it just it I just cry. <laughs> because... I just thought I'd spare people of um mascara and tears I thought I'll wait until I go offline. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bless you. Nicholas put, wow, I love that, but need to master it and practice. Yeah. Practice, Again, always. All of this takes time, guys. Yeah. Everything that we're teaching you in this group and ongoing, it takes time. Meditation takes time. It took me months to really be able to meditate and connect. Absolutely ages. I couldn't switch my goddamn mind off, but I went with it. I went yeah. with it and trusted. Now, give me 10 seconds and I'm gone. I'm zoned in and I love it. I'm connected and I can feel it. But it's took me consistency since January consistently to do it. And I dabbled way before that, but I was a dabbler. Let's have a look. Um, so, yeah, Nicola, don't beat yourself up. It will come to you. Glynis has put, that was an incredible, mind-blowing experience. I had a moment of tearfulness, memory from the past, but joy at arriving. Wow. Oh, Glynis, I'm so happy. It's oh. so powerful. It is, I know. Denise has put, wow, that was amazing. I had a light bulb moment for another aspect of my business when you said, look at the steps you need to take to achieve your goal. Amazing. <laughs> Tracy's put, hey guys, we'll have to watch on replay. Hi Tracy, how are you, Hi. lovely? That's absolutely fine. You watch on replay, you do and um, what you have to do, honey, but it's so good to have you here. I hope that you're well. So everybody enjoyed that visualization. Visualizations are an important part to goal setting. We have to visualize it. We've got to visualize it. And that's why we do it in the morning routine. Go on, Tiff, what do you want to say? Everything we have done tonight is really important to do every time. The start of every month when you have a new goal because you've hit your last one, of course, that we do you do it this way. But we're going to be doing this every month anyway. Yeah. But I don't know. Do you guys tell me how you set your goals? Like, do you literally, like we said, do you have that goal and you just go for it? Have you ever set goals like this before, guys? Like, is this new to you? Has it helped? Because I I can't work any other way. This is how I've hit my goals, how I've hit that money goal, hit that family goal, hit that everything, everything. It's been really specific and been really real because we're all humans, you know, about your distractions, about reaching out, all those things that we feel a little bit cringy about speaking about. Good. That's good. Tracy's part just went to go with the flow. So you don't get specific, Tracy. You don't get the specific <laughs> you don't get specific on what you want to achieve is that what you're saying but that's probably why I'm all over the place what was I saying you'll have to catch up Tracy this is what I was saying before I when I first started out in business I just thought goal setting what a load of shit bloody woo woo what a load of crap I've always been spiritual I've always been guided I've always been to my angels since I was a little girl always so not that woo woo but I meant like you know, asking the universe and attracting stuff to you and things like that. It wasn't until I started studying it and looking into it and actually applying it and then going, wow, wow, this stuff works. 
Yeah. And then I started goal setting and all stuff like that. And I thought, actually, this keeps me organised. <laughs> so it works. Tracy, I would highly recommend you watch this back, honey. Take notes. Print out your, your sheet, your goal setting sheet. It's in the files. Work your way through it. And also, um, uh, the schedule sheet that I did go through that as well listen to me talking you through that because this will keep you organized okay this will keep you organized throughout your day and you'll know exactly where you're at and you won't be like a headless chicken because when you get like that Tracy you'll reach burnout very soon believe me I yes. don't, know, honey. don't want you to reach burnout. We go into, yeah it's not a good place to be but we go into that if you watch it back we go into all of that. So by the end of this, when you've watched it back, you will have clear a clear goal and how to get to that place. You are very welcome, Tracy. Nicholas, but it's not new to me. I haven't hit goals consistently before, so very open and excited. Have you done goal setting in this way before, though, Nicola? Have you done it like this before, or? Yeah, that's what I meant. Have you done it like this? Have you have you um, done it in these steps? Have you acknowledged the things that me and Natasha have? told you to acknowledge I think it's easier to stick to goals with a group like this to connect with and get the support yeah 100 percent yeah I really believe that absolutely no that's why I wanted to create this uh, yeah. this group and create this environment and get people networking with each other and connecting with each other and helping each other and inspiring each other and empowering each other I could go on and on and on because I'm so passionate about it well yeah definitely giving this as put never done it this way before the most I do is set alarm reminders on my phone and more recently I've kept one list that I review weekly time reminder and tick off things but they're always a rollover that's my yeah. to-do list yeah. that's a to-do list yeah um you need to you need to do it you need to get connected and visualize see how how connected you got when you visualized it then now imagine how connected you're going to get when you write a day in your life imagine that. Amazing. yeah and you're putting that out into the universe then you're telling the universe what you want and the universe is then saying, your wish is my command you know everything that I write down I imagine this big genie like sat next to me on my shoulder like behind my shoulder like rubbing his hands together watching me write like manifesting it I'm just a bit I'm just crazy and my head's just bonkers I love that. <laughs> and he's going... it's about doing it's about taking action steps as well so yeah, yeah most definitely to do this are great but use your schedule do do it exactly how we've shown you and all of you will by the end of May you'll be like oh my gosh it works, guys, and we'll be saying, "We know, we know." Yeah. Isn't it amazing? Do so that schedule because yeah. it's so easy to miss the schedule off and then keep that goal there, but then you're not taking the action, you're not getting the most out of your day. Does that make sense? So, um, yeah, just make sure that you you are taking the action, you are doing your schedule sheet, you are getting yourselves organised, you are clear, you are focused, you know exactly what action steps to take, you know exactly what you're doing at what time of the day, all day, every single day. And you'll be surprised how much you get done in a month when you're that organised and when you're that clear and you're that focused and you set the intention, you will be surprised how you achieve it. Absolutely. Or you know on the off chance that you don't achieve it you'll be not far behind it not you'll be very very close to it which is why it's important we said about stretching to your goal because like Natasha said even if and it's okay if you don't we're gonna we are going to hit those goals okay but sometimes certain things happen and if it if it you know do you just miss it you will have stretched okay you were a lot bigger than you were three four weeks ago Okay, so that's why it's really important to stretch when setting those goals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. What's Emma put? Defo love this. Never done it before. I never get to my goals because they all seem unachievable. I don't know how to get there or break it down. What you do now, has it made sense, Emma? Are you clear on how to do it now? We're going to be doing goal setting every single month anyway um, within our group. We're going to be doing it every month. So you're going to have us holding your hand and, and guiding you every every day, every step of the way. And anything that you are overwhelmed with or confused about, feel free to post it in here. Yeah, most definitely. We encourage that. Get posting, ask questions. Anything you need help with, 
we act, we come in and we check all four of us. So if there's anything that you need support with or you're unsure about, post it. And then obviously we'll we'll get back to you and we'll answer. Um, Glynis is part. I'm really looking forward to the day in the life. Made loads of notes as you went over it earlier. Amazing. Oh, good, Glynis. I can't wait. Oh, it's do amazing. you know what would be so lovely if some of you come on and shared your day in the life? Yes. That we'll, would... we'll speak about that afterwards, Natasha. We can we could put a little spin on it. That'd be okay. amazing. Tiffany's got some ideas. I can see the light bulbs going off in her head. <laughs> You'll be on the phone to me in a minute. Ah! Right, this is what we're going to do. We're going to do. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, Glynis, I'd love to hear your day in the life if you'd love to share it with us. Tracy's put powerful ladies. Tracy, you, catch Tracy. Up with me. this is going to help you loads, I promise you, with the schedule sheet and everything. You'll It'll really help you get organised. Nicholas put the most I did was when I was rock bottom and didn't want charity, so I got as... So I got as paper and made 100 adverts and put them out and got 17 students in three weeks and made money through visualisation. Amazing! Wow. Wow, oh, Robbie, that's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Well done, Nicola. Then you know what happens? We get comfortable again. We get back behind that comfort zone, you know, that comfort zone. And you think, oh, I've got a few clients now. And instead of taking that massive action every single day, you just get comfortable again and you just stay stay stuck where you are. And that massive action is what we need to do every day. We need to get organised, we need to schedule it and we need to just go for it. Yeah. Thank you, Glynis. You are an amazing woman. We'll definitely Thank you, Glynis. Oh, can't wait to see your results. Can't wait to see it. Same here, Emma. Um, what's Emma put? Oh, right, okay. Yeah. So um um amy was uh sorry annie was the same as emma so annie are you clear on how to set goals now emma's put yeah so are you enjoy any questions glynis is going to put we'll share when done whoop, whoop, yay! but remember guys the exciting thing is is that it's like natasha was just saying it's about stepping outside your comfort zone but can you imagine when you get to that place of success because that will become your comfort zone like how amazing would it to be to be living in that place of success, but to be com like you're not scared of that place to go yeah. back there would be a bit scary. Like we can all live there, you know. That's what the universe, the angels, God, whoever it is that you look up to, wants for us to Absolutely. be in that place. It's that purpose, and it's yes. that what yes. take the time to connect through meditation, through visualisation, through grounding ourselves, through protecting our energy, whatever way you want to do it, connecting and take listening to the inner voice, the voice within, guide you in the right direction. That is what we're teaching you guys. Everything we're teaching you is just mindfulness because when we calm our mind and connect through our gut and let that take us where we need to get to, guide us, it's... It, it, magical stuff happens I can't even explain it magical stuff happens opportunities ideas they just get downloaded it's amazing absolutely and they just people, get... yeah people come into your life you're like oh my gosh you can help me with this like you will be given all these things if you step out they'll come to you absolutely and it's put more or less we'll be going back over this video okay Annie if there's anything okay. that you can help with you know where we are, just put a post in the group and we'll be more than happy to help you, honey, if there's anything you get stuck with. Same goes for any any of you guys on this call. Nicola's put, going to make massive action, my mother name. Way! <laughs> you know what? what I'm, I'll share one of my affirmations with you. One of my affirmations is, I am an action taker, not a procrastinator. So if I sit at my laptop at some point of the day and I'm sat there like oh my god we all get those moments right I go no I'm an action taker I am not a procrastinator I'm an action taker I am not a procrastinator and I'll just shout it out a few times I'll be like yeah I say yes I say yes I say yes to my life do you say yes we say yes I say yes to my life Woo! <laughs> who says yes <laughs> Yes, who says yes to their life? <laughs> we should go on X Factor and sing that. Really? Hi, yeah. Simon. Tonight I'm going to be. No, that's <laughs> That starts in the round. <laughs> 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 you 
how much TV I watch, can't you? <laughs> Please, will you put a photo of the schedule sheet? Yes, I will do, Nicola. I'll put it in the comments in this on this video. Denise has put, would you be able to do that visualisation as a video in the group so we could save it and use it maybe? Well, you read my mind. I was going to upload it to our YouTube channel and then post it on the page and the group. So, yeah. I will get that done for you, my lovely, and I will um, post it in, in over the next couple of days. I'll probably do it tomorrow. Um, so, yeah, should we leave it there? Has everybody had a good time? I've loved it. Are you all powered? Are you pumped? Are you ready to go? Are you clear? Who's feeling good? Who set them goals? Who's clear on what they need to do? Nicholas, but what are you two like? I know we're, we're bonkers. Well, I'm bonkers anyway, but a good bonkers. Bonkers is good. Bonkers is really good. It's good. Bonkers is good. Of course, it is. We invite bonkers. Weirds and the next cool thing. Yeah. Glennis has put lots of hearts. Denise has put thank you once again, lovelies. Incredible stuff. Yes. You are welcome. So glad it's helped you. We're so glad you're connected. We're so glad you've got your goals set. You're clear. You're focused. You visualize it. You've connected. And on the Breakfast Club every morning, you can visualize it again because we take you through the yes. visualization of you connecting to that goal. Love spending time with you, gurus. Oh, we love spending oh, time with you, Nicola. We love having you here, Nicola. Emma's put kisses. Oh. <laughs> Tomorrow morning, guys, we have got Melanie. Melanie's uh, Tracy can't wait to watch. I can't wait for you to watch it back, Tracy. We're going to get off now so you can get on. <laughs> um, but uh, what was I just saying? What was I just saying? Oh, yeah, Melanie. Well, good morning. Um, quarter past six. So um, hop on live, quarter past six with Melanie. She'll be doing the breakfast club. And then I'll be back Thursday, Friday, Mal's on Saturday. Um, haven't got a live tomorrow evening. We're going to let you guys finish off going over this goal setting. Um, finish off reading Dwayne's book as well. Book. Book amazing. Amazing. I started reading it last night. I think I read half and I was just in awe. It was amazing. Yeah. Thank you Aww. for another inspiring evening. See you in the morning. Oh, thank you, Glynis. So grateful. See you in the morning. You're welcome, Nicola. Oh, it's so good to have so many lovely people here. It's amazing. You are. You're all so lovely. Yeah, we love you all. We love you all. Right then, guys. See you all 6.15. Um, Melanie's doing their breakfast club. Get up and say yes to your life. <laughs> right then guys thank you so much for taking the time for joining us we're so glad that you took something from it and um we'll see you in the morning bye bye, bye. bye.